Hello and welcome to another Rotorycraft tutorial. In this video I will talk about the boring machine. I will go through how to set it up. I will go through the features and how it works, how you use it. I will go through how to calculate power and torque to make it easier to plan how much power you need to feed it with. And finally I will touch upon enchanting on the boring machine. Okay, in this setup in front of me I have two gasoline engines, I have a shaft junction that will merge. I will show this in different steps during this tutorial. I have two two dynamometers that will show us numbers more clearly and a clutch that I will use to pause the system between all these different steps so I can explain. First we place the boring machine like that and if we look in the interface we see this big box in the middle. This is the mining pattern that we will that is totally up to us to decide if i place like this that means i will dig a two by one small tunnel directly in front of the boring machine this button the reset position will reset back so it begins from the beginning again and this drops on and off will toggle between put outputting the drops to a chest or just delete them. On means put them in a chest. So let's do that. Okay, then let's take let's take a look at the interface on the right side. Power, speed and torque. We will go through them in a little while, but the speed is not really important. It is only torque and power. The speed is basically how many seconds per digging step. If we look in the info tab, we'll go to the Rotorcraft handbook. And here we have some interesting numbers that we really need to do some calculations around. Harder materials require more power and torque to dig. 640 watts per hardness points of the blocks in front of it and up to 512 newton meters of torque per block to cut through the harder materials. So what does that mean? First of all we need to talk about the different hardness points. For example we have saplings crops and such they have a hardness of zero dirt and sand has hardness of 0.5 stone 1.5 ores here in the back has a hardness of a three and obsidian has a hardness of 50 and when we do the math from here digging through two blocks of stone would then require 2 times 1.5 times 640. That means 1920 watts of power to dig through these two blocks. So let's start up and demonstrate that. We take some F now. The gasoline engine outputs 65 kilowatts at a 128 newton meters of torque with the 4, 4 to 1 gearbox I get 512 newton meters of torque and 65 kilowatts of power still this is of course more than enough to break through these two blocks so let's demonstrate how that looks instantly it started to dig and we can pause here now we can see if we continue this in this direction, we will continue the tunnel 
in a two by one pattern but that's not what we want to do I will add all to do the max size like that now if we start all over we can see the biggest this is the max size boring machine uh, and it is 5 times 7 that's 35 blocks simultaneously so the next step is a 3 by 3 stone wall still no problem for this since we have all these power let's move on to the next step this is a full size stone wall if we do the math here we get that 35 stones times 1.5 in hardness times 640 means 33.6 kilowatts this is enough and we have 65 kilowatts of power so we have enough power to break through but as you can hear off. we can't get through why yeah that's because we don't have enough torque torque is harder to calculate so we only we only know what we got from this tab 512 newton meters of torque per block for the harder materials so let's change this gearbox to something that gives us more torque for example 8 to 1 gearbox now we have 1024 newton meters of torque still the same power and now we dug through it easily and as we can see everything ends up in here next step should be four obsidian and one stone now we know that we have 512 newton meters per of torque and I know that obsidian is very hard and this means that we need 4 times 512 newton meters of torque if we look at the power we have 4 obsidian is sorry, stuck 4 obsidian is 4 times 50 times 640 and I have one piece of stone here it's so plus 1 times 1.5 times 640 this is below 130 kilowatts so maybe it's enough if we add some more power let's try again as you can, as you can see we have 2000 newton meters of torque and we have enough power but all that torque is required to break the obsidian only so the stone wood is too much even though we have enough power and now it will continue in the next wall I have a three pieces of obsidian instead and the rest stone and that should be no problems for this setup I hope yep and there it dug through directly now we can pause this before we move on the boring machine has a feature of making sure that the tunnel roof does not collapse by replacing sand and gravel let's see how that looks in action we'll 
wait a little for it to come over here. As you can see, we now have stone and sandstone here. So later on when we remove the mining pipes, the roof will not collapse. Very good. Moving on to the last part. Now I have a bunch of ores here. I have not done the math, but the hardness is three. And we have lots of power and lots of torque. So this is no problem in that aspect. As you can see, we dug through it with no problems, but one problem is that we only get there we have it now we can pause we only got exactly the amount that we dug up as we would have with a normal unenchanted pickaxe luckily we can do something about that Here I have two books, Fortune 3 and Efficiency 4. Simply right click on the boring machine. Now I'm in creative mode, but in normal, normally the book is consumed. And now we can see what will happen. We dig through and we should now get the fortune fortune outcome from the mining and we will also get the efficiency and now if we look at the number the operation time is now eight seconds down from above 20 or so looking at the outcome we now have 21 diamonds and before we had seven so we got 14 diamonds double the outcome on that and basically that's everything I plan to go through in this video I hope that's enough for anyone to get going and don't hesitate to ask if you have any further questions so thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye